so I'll repeat that. All of our systems that we're solving, you guys can, you guys can solve either by substitution or by elimination. I'll say that again because some students weren't listening. All the problems that we're solving, you can solve by substitution or by elimination. So by the rules of what we talked about, I would probably say use this by substitution, right? Because substitution was always easiest when you had a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, right? 1 or negative 1. Now, Yesenia said, though, you know what? I don't really like that way. It might have been a little bit confusing. Or is there a simpler way? Well, on some problems, this might be simpler. Or maybe for you, it might be simpler to solve a problem by what we call elimination. So the way that we do elimination, and the main important thing, guys, for solving systems um, by substitution or, elimina or elimination, the main important thing is we always ended up solving an equation with one variable. right? Do you guys remember once we solved and then plugged it into the other equation, we had an equation that only had one variable, right? So that's the main purpose of what we're going to do with this. So in doing elimination, the trick with elimination is you want to make sure you have coefficients that are equal and one positive, one negative. Actually, it doesn't even matter. You just want to make sure you have coefficients that are equal, all right? So what the value of the coefficients doesn't matter anymore, as long as you have coefficients that are equal. So we could do the substitution, but we're not going to. We're going to do elimination. Do I have two coefficients that are equal in value with one being positive, one being and negative in this case? Yeah. yeah, I have one, right? One and negative one. So when you have the same coefficient being one being positive and one being negative, to do elimination, what you're going to want to do is add them up. You're going to add the two equations. So if you have equations, two equations, with the same coefficients, right? This bo they both have one, except this has a positive and this is a negative. When you have them in a positive and a negative, add them up. So just combine them. So what's 2t plus 5? 3t is 5t. Negative u or negative 1u plus positive 1u is 0u. And then 17 plus 8. I'm just gonna, right. I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to show you that zero times u obviously is zero. So we're just left with five t equals twenty five. So do you guys see how now I have an equation without a u in there anymore? So I eliminated. That's so much easier. Right. So now solve for t, and therefore I have t equals five. Now usually that's. I mean, this is a pretty basic elimination problem. You don't have to do anything. There are harder elimination problems we'll go over. But once you have t equals 5, the nice thing about substitution, remember, when we always plug substitution into the equation we already solved for, right? The tough thing about elimination is we haven't solved for u on either one of these. So you're still going to plug it back into one of those equations. But again, you just have to pick which one you want to do. So Austin, which one do you want to plug it into, the top equation or the bottom one? Top, all right? Well, we've got to figure out the value of u. We don't, remember, we've got to figure out the value of u and of t. So Austin put it, wanted to put it into the front top one, so that's fine. t is equal to 5. So I put a 5 in for t. Then let's just solve. 10 minus u equals 17. Subtract 10. Negative u equals positive 7. Divide by negative 1 u equals negative 7. If you guys did that by substitution, you get the exact same answer. Yeah, but what happens if the two u's, like, say, for example, the two's have a negative plus 5 times 2, but what if not? Yeah, what if they're not negative and positive? Like, what if they don't equal 0? OK, I'll do that in another video.